All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I've done. I can feel the worms still moving on my hands. Tiny little baby worms on my hands. My mission on this earth is to connect people to the magic of nature, to thrive physically and globally. Hi, my name's Hayley Weatherburn and welcome to Thriving With Nature. Hello! Climbing a tree. Thrivers, all right, this compost tea has now been going for approximately um, 18 hours now. So all those beautiful microbes that we put here from the vermicompost have been multiplying. There's been parties going on all night with the microbe community and they have increased. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn this off and we're gonna spray this on and in the garden. So not only do we want it to go down into the roots, we want to make sure we're putting it on the leaves and all over because you've got to imagine, the, like us, our human body, we have microbes, communities in our hands, in our mouths, inside our guts, in our toes, like absolutely everywhere. And as long as we're having a balance of 80, 85% good microbial populations, it's keeping us ourselves strong and in a beautiful balance and the more biodiverse so the more different foods and things i've been putting in here um, attract different microbes the more biodiverse and strong your uh, microbial community and your immune system and this is the same for the plants and so all over the leaves like when you eat a cucumber on the outside of the skin i showed that in one of my last videos um, this is how you, we become a beautiful symbiotic community, like connection to the garden and to us through these microbes. So something that I do is I actually don't mind getting a bit of it on me. I'm like, oh, let's, hello, new communities, meet everyone, let's, stronger communities. And we know this is a healthy batch because it's aerated. So oxygenated microbes are definitely the more positive variety of microbes. The pathogens, you think of stale lakes, you think of um, meat that's gone off with no oxygen, you think of that kind of stuff, it starts to have pungency, like the light shape that comes out of the worm bin does not smell. If it's smelling, there's something wrong, there's a shift in the balance. This is our, our senses, ourselves, to be able to tell if we're on the right track. This has, this has no aroma, it's just earthy. It just smells earthy um, and not even that it's more watery than earthy and so you know you're on the right track if this is pungent then there'd be a problem so yeah so we're going to turn it off and then we're going to put it in uh, some watering cans I have one I prepared earlier uh, so that we can water it on the leaves inside the garden we're really going to um, create with the living supplement garden we're going to put it on here as well as the other veggie gardens and then whatever's left over I'm going to be putting making sure I put it on all my plants to give them that extra nutrition and microbial communities. All right, let's go. Alrighty, so I now have some time to finally do what I said I was going to do. So we're going to, I'm going to um, prune all of these uh, things that I don't want growing and I want to show you, I'm going to show you the soil here. The soil is really dry at the top. It's something that I never got a chance to with this garden was put a proper layer of mulch and dry stuff to protect the soil. And that's something I'm noticing that's happening. Can you see how the soil has come right away from the edge of the box? That's a big sign of the moisture has been fully taken out. It's like completely sucked around. It could be pests. But it's just something I'm noticing and I have a feeling it's got to do with the fact that it hasn't been covered. See how the soil's really dried up here? Look at this. It's really dried. We're going to get this covered and, and see if we can repair this. Now what I'm doing here, some people might be asking, why don't I just pull out all the roots? Around the roots is also microbial communities. And what you have to trust is Mother Nature only puts up things that it needs to help move towards abundance. So now I have pruned everything and cleaned it up a little bit, not cleaned it up by just um, spreading out the biomass. Everything I've cut down, I'm using to cover the soil. Now what I'm gonna do is get a thin layer of vermicompost on top of that. 
And then we're going to put a lang lang, which is like a rice mulch or a, it comes from somewhere else. The Balinese use it um, for their roofs, but at the moment it's the only thing I could get that was organic. And that's going to cover it and then we're going to water it with the compost tea. All right, so we've got the worm bin. I've uncovered half of it because I want the worms to move. But I'm also not worried if some of the worms end up in the garden. It's always good. These are, these are compost worms, red wrigglers, um, which generally they stay at the top and eat biomass. So they're not necessarily, um, like they're not earthworms that will dig down deep into the, the bottom, but nevertheless, it is always awesome to have them up there. And we'll have the alang alang on the top. So that would be some carbon that they can consume as well. Uh, and hopefully they'll be able to eat a lot of that um, the biomass that I chopped up as well. So, but I don't want to get rid of all my worms, but worms do multiply. They, I only had a handful of worms before I started this compost, this vermi compost, and now I have a bathtub full of brooming of them. So, all right, I've got my container. And so let's get some vermi compost. Look at this is just teeming with life, teeming with nutrients. And it's also got quite a few worms in there, but that's okay. All right, before we put the vermi compost on, um, which is all the worm casting, deliciousness. What I also have decided that I'm gonna do is a little bit of this, um, volcanic dust so this volcanic dust i live here in bali so volcanoes high uh, minerals so you think of right up on the volcano where it's hot there's not much vegetation of course but down at the bottom where all these minerals get down to eventually um, it's really rich you've got your rainforest and things there so i'm going to sprinkle some minerals because part of me is suspecting that there is some kind of deficiency potentially and that's why um, the water was an issue, but also the um, potentially there's some minerals missing that cause the cucumbers to die very quickly. But we'll see. And also my corn is dying from the bottom as well. So I, these are the things I'm doing. A bit of rock minerals, vermicompost, compost tea, and covering the soil. And I think we've got a great start to see how that improves and see if that changes the pest. We've only sprinkled a little bit on. You don't need much. These are high minerals. Now let's get as much as this vermicompost on here. Round two. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I've done. I can feel the worms still moving on my hands. So now we've done that. Now we want to um, water it and then I'm gonna cover it. All right, now we've watered it and covered it. The main thing is to keep all that life and moisture and everything in. This organic biomass will also eventually break down and be food for the microbes. All right, so there we go. The garden has now more life, more nutrients, now that I've covered the soil. Something I've done that now that I think about it might not have been a good thing was I cut down some of the, some would call weeds, 
but only realized afterwards that the corn was lean, uh, the tomatoes were leaning on them. So what's left in this garden is different types of tomatoes, red spinach, green spinach, eggplant, capsicum. So we'll see how we go. So that's what I'm doing to try and rescue this raised bed by listening to what nature is saying and see if I can help. Stay tuned and I'll give you an update. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when the next video is on and I'll see you soon. For more information, you can visit thrivingwithnature.com. See you next week.